We're given the vector valued function r of t and asked to find the integral of r of t integrated with respect to t. To integrate a vector valued function, we integrate each component of the vector valued function. So notice how the result is big R of t, another vector valued function, plus a constant vector c. This constant vector c comes from the constant of integration from the x, y, and z components. So the antiderivative of a vector valued function is a family of vector valued functions such that the derivative of big R of t equals little r of t. So if we find the derivative of big R of t plus c, it would give us little r of t. And notice how the derivative of the constant vector c would be the zero vector. So going back to our example, to find the integral of r of t, again we will integrate each component of the vector valued function. So if the x component would have the integral of three t to the fourth plus two, integrate with respect to t. The y component would be the integral of four e to the two t integrated with respect to t. And the z component would be the integral of five sine negative three t, again integrated with respect to t. So looking at the x component, we'd have three times t to the fifth divided by five plus two t plus c as the antiderivative of the x component. For the y component, we'll have to perform u substitution where u would be equal to two t and therefore differential u equals two dt. Dividing both sides by two, notice that one half du equals dt. So we'll have an extra factor of one half when integrating. Let's go ahead and show the u substitution here for review. We could factor out the four and we'd have the integral of e to the u, but again dt equals one half du. So let's go ahead and put the du here and factor out the one half. So this would be two times the integral of e to the u, which should be two e to the u or two e to the two t plus c. And then finally for the z component, we have to perform another u substitution. We'd have u equals negative three t so du equals negative three dt. Dividing both sides by negative three, we have negative one-third du equals dt. So performing the u substitution, we can factor out the five. We'd have the integral of sine u. Again, dt is equal to negative one-third du. So we have du factor out the negative one-third. So for the z component, we'd have negative five-thirds times integral of sine u. Well, the integral of sine u is negative cosine u, so this works out to positive five-thirds cosine u, which is negative three t plus c. Let's go ahead and write this one more time. We'll write this as the integral of r of t integrated with respect to t is equal to we're going to include plus a constant vector, which again comes from the constants here, here, and here in the three components. So I'll write the x component as this would be three-fifths t to the fifth plus two t. The y component would be two e to the two t. The z component would be five-thirds cosine negative three t and again, plus c, a constant vector. So in our homework system, remember, we're not going to include this plus c. We'll only be including the x, y, and z components for our family of vector valued functions, such that the derivative of this family of vector valued functions would be little r of t. So again, referring to our notes, we would have the integral of r of t integrated with respect to t is equal to big R of t which is here, plus our constant vector, vector c. I hope you found this helpful.